welcome or welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to take you through how to sign up on fiverr how to create a profile how to create a gig and how to get started on fiverr as a freelancer so if you like this kind of content please be sure to subscribe so without any further ado let's get started so just open fiverr.com i'm going to link, leave the link in the description down below so without any further ado let me just let's just sign in together let's just join so let me show you so step one i'll show you how to sign up on the platform and become a seller so on the platform you'll just come to this section right here become a seller on this tab right here become a seller so it will redirect you to this page so join our growing freelance community then here what's your skill you'll select this tab right here this button so you select become a seller so you can create a new account you can continue with google email apple or facebook um i prefer this single sign on in as opposed to remembering a password when you create with your email so i'm just going to continue with google Get your profile started add a username that's unique to you this is how you appear to others you can't change your username so choose wisely choose a username and then you press enter so Natai wilson your account has been created what brings you to fiverr so selling freelance services buying freelance services remember we want to sell freelance services so i'm just going to select that and then i click on next so what type of freelancer are you whatever your style will make it work so you can be a site can be a side hustle a solo freelancer an agency employee or an agency owner i'm going to select solo freelancer i'm not looking to start to start a side hustle i want this to be my main hustle so i'm just going to select solo freelancer and when i click on next what's your freelancing experience whatever your style will make it work so for the purpose of this video i'm going to say i'm just getting started as a freelancer just to take you through how to get started as a beginner as well so after you just click i'm just getting started and then you finish great you're almost there here's what's next complete your seller profile or explore fiverr first let's just complete the seller profile so this is the profile so here it says introduce yourself display names can help build a personal connection while strengthening your your professional relationship with buyers go ahead and choose your display got it so i'm just still going to choose here is now where you can say virtual assist you can write names like virtual assistant or writer content writer so we suggest using your first name and last initial of your last name to help build credible and authentic connections with customer they will see how you display your name i'm just going to write netai w then i save display name so it's been successfully updated so ready to earn on your own terms become a seller so ready to start selling on fiverr here's the breakdown learn what it makes learn what makes a successful profile create your seller profile publish your gig let's continue What's, what makes a successful Fiverr profile? Take your time in creating your profile so it's exactly as you want it to be. Add credibility by linking out your relevant professional networks. Accurately describe your professional skills to help you get more work. Put a face to your name. Upload a profile picture that clearly shows your face. To keep your community secure, to keep our community secure for everyone, we may ask you to verify your ID. So let's continue. So the things these are the things you want to steer clear of so providing any misleading or inaccurate information about your identity this leads to account closure so be very careful about this opening duplicate accounts remember you can always create more gigs soliciting other community members for work on fiverr then requesting to take communication and payment outside of fiverr so take note of that fiverr usually just block your account or you can't log in they just delete your account so take note of that and um, let's continue so personal information i'm going to fill this up very fast so like i say if you want to write a description here you can write you can always go to chat gpt so that's what i'm going to do
So you can see uh, chat GPT usually does that very fast for you. But I feel like it's a bit long. I'm just going to write, make it 600, make it around 400 characters. You see. Yeah, see this is better. So let's copy that and share and paste it here. So you can see here experience virtual assistant with skills in admin task research, data entry, content creation, and customer support. Organized, detail oriented, and adaptable. Let me streamline your workflow and exceed your expectations. I, really, I like that description, so let's just continue. The languages, I'm just going to select English. Uh, select all the languages you speak. If you speak Spanish, if you speak French, German, Arabic, feel free to select them here. So for this video, I'm just going to put English. And then language level is native. So and then continue, press continue your occupation so this is where now you can select your area of expertise for this video I'm, since I'm, I'm i'm selecting virtual assistant i'm going to select business then i'm going to select virtual assistant here you can choose two to five of your best skills in business so for example if you're a virtual assistant um customer care event management market research e-commerce management this is where maybe you manage the shopify the etsy store you, or or any e-commerce platform that they're using so you can select business plans here management presentations i'm going to select presentations as well and market research uh, I'm also going to add e-commerce management. So skills. I'm just going to write calendar management. And then I put experts. And then I add add another skill. Right, maybe event management. You're good at managing people's event. Event management, experience, expert. Feel free to write. If you're a beginner, just write beginner. Because most of the time when a client is giving you a role, they'll probably train you first before you actually take it on. So let's add some more. I'm going to write business presentations and data presentations. And I'm going to add data entry as well. So you can add any that you want. I'm just going to add data entry as a whole because I'm good in Excel, Office Word, Google Sheets, and all that. So I'm just going to put expert. Let's just start with those for now. Oh, your years. Please make sure you've added your years of experience and two to five of your strongest skills. So I'm just going to add new. So here is where if you're a marketing expert, you can add. Mm, so I'm just going to write marketing.
So I'm going to start with those two. Let's see if it will accept. So yeah, this is now where you can link your accounts. I've already linked Google. Facebook, I don't use my Facebook account anymore. So let's continue. So you can add your phone number. I'm not going to do that for now. But you can, this is where you add your phone number in as much as it's private. So continue and create your first gig. So your a minimum complication... A minimum completion rate of 65% is required to continue. Your seller profile is off to a good start. Take a moment to complete the following steps to help build trust. So let me just add my education and personal website. Uh, but let's just continue. So you can see you can continue and create continue and create your first gig. So your pro, your seller profile is all set. Now go ahead and create your first gig to start selling your services. You can edit your profile information anytime. So so these are the free courses that you can do on this platform. Become a successful seller on Fiverr. I really suggest starting out with this. It will really help you understand the platform. So let's just start. Create your first gig. So for you, I do. Let's, you can create for a virtual assistant. You can create for a, a business presentation. I'm just going to start for a business presentation. So select a category. So this is the suggest these are the suggested categories. So you can go for graphic and design, presentation design, or business and presentations. I'm going to go for business presentations. So select a service type. So you just select business presentations as well. Language, I'll select English, then presentation tool, select Google Slides industry i'll select business services financial services marketing and advertising and retail and wholesale so then search for tags so let's just start with Google Slides. So just add tags. Tag your gig with buzzwords that are relevant to the services you offer. Use all five tags to get found. So that's just what I'm going to use for now. Uh, please make sure you research. So just save and continue. So you can choose to offer packages or you can have just one. So I'm just going to choose to offer packages. So I'll have basic standard and premium. So delivery time here, I'm going to select three days or two. Let's just select two. No, three days. And then review and edit then here is where you can include the number of slides you can write here 5 10 and then let's say 20 so revisions you can select maybe five revisions 
let's select two and then for this one three then this one three as well then visual enhancement so this one you can start since you're a beginner remember you're a beginner you can start with thirty dollars sixty dollars and then this one now you can go to 120 let's make it let's make it eight dollars for all of them so that they don't contradict here because you see we're charging thirty dollars yeah let's add eight dollars per extra slide so extra fast delivery I'm going to charge ten dollars for each. Now this we can do five dollars since it's the starter pack because it's only five slides. And then this one we can do eight. Then this one we can do ten. So review and edit. Ten dollars. So yeah, you can add anything extra that you can offer, but this visual enhancement covers charts and graphics. So yeah, you can add any extra thing, maybe source code. But let's save and continue for now. So here we're just going to name it basic. Then describe the details of your offering. So basic, you will get five slides. So for basic, you will get five well-designed custom Google Slides. For standard, you will get 10 well-designed custom Google Slides with charts, graphs, and infographics. And then for the premium, you'll get 20 well-designed custom Google Slides. So here, it's saying. That will exit. Uh, set the incremental rate for your presentations that exceed your included slide count. This will activate the slide count calculator in buyer view. So you can charge, let's see if we charge $10. And $20. So write your description here, briefly describe your gig. So I'm just going to go back to chat GPT.
So milestone workflow, attract buyers by turning your gig into a series of milestones. They'll know exactly what to expect and you'll get paid with each milestone completed. Well, since this is not a very long project, it's just Google Slides and then the very few slides, I'm just not going to add milestones for this particular one. So let's continue. So get all the information that you need from buyers. So for this, I'm just going to go ask, do you have any preferred brand colors? Do you have? So for now, that's the one I'm going to add. So save and continue. So for this part, for this part right here, you can use you can use Canva to create your image. So these are the gig image guidelines. They're recommended. The recommended size is 1280 by 769 px. The minimum is 712 by 430, and the maximum size is 50 MB. So I'm going to show you very fast how you can create um, these images, how we, where you can get a gig gallery. So all you have to do is just go to Envato Elements. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. Then you can go to Presentation Templates. Then you go to Google Slides. So this, it has so many Google Slides. Where, that you can choose from so let's see you can see it has 31,830 google slides so and then you can see you can do this popular this business education pitch medical so for any category so for marketing for the for this video i'm just going to select marketing So you can see there's a lot of marketing video, marketing Google Slides templates. So you can select from any one of these. So for example, like this. So since you're a beginner, you don't have you don't have prior prior you don't have prior work that you can display. And even if sometimes you do, sometimes you have you they don't allow you to actually display that. So we're just going to go to we're just going to select one so you can see how easy it is to get started on the platform. So you can select something like this, something with visually appealing content, and then you can add this to your gig, to your gig images. This will help you, this will help clients want to, this will help improve your chances of getting your first client because they can see that you're very professional. All you have to do is remove this lorem ipsum and make it your own. So as opposed to creating a Google slide from start, you can just pay for this Envato Element subscription and get started. On the platform so you can see stunning marketing you can see just make it your own and you can see they're very visually appealing So um, I would suggest you start, you, you get an Envato Element subscription, especially if you're focusing in presentation, in anything to do with presentations, because this the Envato Elements platform has so many templates that you can use from graphic templates to logos, photos, add, yeah, there's so many things that you can actually get started on, on this pl platform. Then there's talk videos if you're a video editor, these video templates for all After Effects, Premiere Pro, Apple Apple Motion, Final Cut Pro, and there's royalty free music. You, there's so much you can get from the Envato Elements platform. So, so I'm, I'm going to end this video here for now because presentations. This is a very basic skill, and I'm sure you can. If you if you don't already know how to do a PowerPoint presentation, you you can learn. It's a very it's a very easy thing you can learn. So if you want a tutorial on how to use Envato Elements or any other question regards to Fiverr, just leave it in the comment section down below. And if you like such content, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment on the comment section down below. So anyway, thank you for watching till this far. I'll see you in the next video.